don't really understand what we're trying to do here. Yeah. It's a story that needs to be told. We all sympathize with her. So, <clears throat> this is basically how the first set of scenes is going to go. You understand me? So, yes, I'm going to need uh, you to be very, very um, active with the lights and moving around with the camera so that you can get every angle you need and everything has to be done yeah. perfectly. You get me? So, uh, you. Who's that? Sorry, excuse me one minute. What's up? What are we going to do? Wow. We're going to have to wait. What if she does not show up? Ah. Uh, then we'll have to show up for coming in tomorrow with the set up as usual. I suppose I never really we can. We'll just have to wait. What's this special about that story? Wow. You see, some stories just need to be told, eh? Yeah? I mean, the world has to know about our pain, about our journey about our trials. We just have to know about all the things she's been through. I feel like we need to let the world know about her so we can pay awareness for all that I've been through the kind of things she's been through. Understand? The story is just that important to me personally. Right. So I'll just I'll just try and call out one time yeah? Right. Yeah. People, yeah, about to Hi, it's another silence. Thank you. If you'll please follow me. Thank you. Oh, please, can you sit here? Thank you. Hey, um, would you like anything? Some other on fire. Alright, come down. Thank you. Well, are you okay? Yeah. Can you please state your name for the camera, ma'am? Kid. 
I had to make a choice whether to abort it or to keep it. Then I chose to abort. But I couldn't go through with it. So I had, I had a baby girl, Kiki. She was so magnificent. She was, she was so beautiful. Just holding her in my arms. I forgot I was alone. I forgot I was poor. I forgot I couldn't take care of her. I forgot everything. All that mattered was her at the moment. I loved the world when I was 19. I met the man. He took interest in me and he promised to take care of me. But most especially, he took interest in my daughter, my two year old. I know it's saying that goes when you take a child by the hand, you take the mother by the heart. I guess that's what happened. We were in love. He loved Kiki. He loved Kiki. So six months after, he asked me to move in with him. I felt excited. I felt like finally my life will have a sense of normalcy. Everything would be okay. Despite the 25 years age difference, I introduced him to my mom. He bought a lot of things for her and she gave me away to him. He asked us to move to Italy, that a better life awaited us there. I had nothing, I had no money. So I went wherever he went. When we got to Italy, he pulled up at an escort service. And then that was when everything changed. He said to me, I spent a lot of money bringing you and your daughter here, so you have to earn it back. I spent a lot filling up your fridge. I spent a lot, I got you an apartment, so you have to earn that money back. I felt like I didn't know how to get through it. I didn't know if I was going to leave or die. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what he was going to do to my daughter. I didn't know what he was. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't. Know, I didn't know what he was capable of. I remember walking. I remember people passing. I remember seeing people passing by and. They would tell me, smile, you should smile more, you should be happy, you are beautiful. But they didn't know, they didn't know I was running, they didn't know I was running for my life. I was running away from a man who forced me to do things that I never thought I was capable of doing. I'm waiting for you at home. Traffic and the says that if you don't bring back 1,000 euros, you'd find your daughter with another man. I was more frightened of going home than staying in the room because if I got robbed, it was my fault for being stupid. If you got raped, it was your fault for being tempted. If anything happened to you, it was your fault for letting it happen to you. And you incurred more punishment. Which would always, always make you walk in fear of your trafficker. My name is Efosa Masaye, and I'm a survivor of human trafficking. <laughs>